Welcome to the Gospel Truth Show produced by Cross and Crown Radio. We want to make a lasting difference in your life and in our community. Our mission is to produce biblical, entertaining, and Christ-centered programs for God's people and folks all around the world. Post a comment or a question and sit back and enjoy the show. GospelTruthShow.Podbeam.com Hello, this is Mike Robinson. I'm a pastor and a certified nutritionist. So glad you're with us. We've got a great show today. We're going to talk about anti-aging supplements and nutrition that you can put in your own life. Number one, get garlic, raw garlic. Eat it with food. You say, well, gosh, no one will want to hang out with me. Garlic and onions. But they're very, very, very good for you. Take it with food. Try to time it so when, it's, when you're eating it, maybe perhaps you're not going to work. It may keep you up late at night because it does give energy. Also, add to that Kyolic capsules. You can get that on the internet. Kyolic capsules, it's aged garlic extract. Very, very good in capsule form. I highly recommend it. Turmeric. Now, turmeric's really good on your food. It's very, very healthy for you. But you know what? It's hard to get enough on your food. So perhaps buy the capsules. Turmeric. Now, it's a blood thinner as are fish oil caps. So be careful when you take it. Talk to your doctor first or a trained certified nutritionist. Don't try to do the research yourself. You're not gonna know enough probably about biochemistry, human physiology, and how it interrelates with the meds you might be taking, the other supplements you might be taking, and your genetics and your lifestyle. Don't do it, it's a bad idea. Next, take uh, melatonin, melatonin tablets, capsules. Very, very good, very, very powerful antioxidant, which helps, it's produced by the pineal gland, which is a hormone, so it goes forth in your body as a hormone, but you can take it as a tablet or a capsule, melatonin. I highly recommend it. It helps you go to sleep at night and calm down. It's also the pacemaker of aging clocks in humans. Melatonin is huge to bring forth possible life extension. Again, talk to your doctor. Many research studies have suggested that it's very effective in increasing the lifespan. So melatonin. Also, get hot peppers. You can buy the capsules, cayenne capsules. Even though they're capsules, they still may irritate your stomach, so take it with food. Start one a day and maybe increase to two at a time with food and see how that works two or three times a day. Again, talk to a trained professional before you do that. So we want to have garlic, we want to have turmeric, we want to have fatty fish, we want to have beans, we want to have nuts, we want to have almond butter, we want to take melatonin tablets or capsules. Hot peppers are really good, perhaps even cayenne capsules. Next, vitamin E caps. 200 I use, I recommend, with food. Again, that's also a possible blood thinner. And so make sure that when you do these things, that you take sure, make sure that you're talking to a doctor or a certified nutritionist. B complex vitamins, water soluble, so you need them every single day. Folic acid, B6, and vitamin B12 have seemed to suggest in numerous research studies to lower homocysteine levels in the human body. High homocysteine levels tend to bring forth inflammation and possible heart disease. So take B-complex vitamins. I would recommend, again, see here's where the research comes into. Here's where the biochemistry comes into. I recommend a B-complex vitamin without inositol and choline. Most of the health food brands and the brands that are made by nutritional companies add choline and inositol because they used to be thought of being really, really good for you, especially in lowering cholesterol and helping your liver out. They may do that, but certain research has suggested they're very, very bad for you in pill form, so don't take one with choline and inositol in a B-complex vitamin, so you might have to get it at a drugstore, B-complex vitamins at a drugstore. Also get coenzyme Q10, capsule form. Many particular drugs and pharmaceuticals lower your coenzyme Q10 levels, especially anti-cholesterol medication. So if you're taking anti-cholesterol medication, talk to your heart doctor, see if you can take coenzyme Q10. Acetyl L-carnitine arginine capsules, very, very powerful. They help your brain. If you're worried about, well, I don't want to get dementia, I don't want to get Alzheimer's disease, perhaps acetyl L-carnitine arginate might help prevent that because what it does it helps the growth of neurites in the brain. Very, very powerful substance. Take it with food. I would not recommend it taking it late at night. Again, talk to a trained professional first. Also, stay away from charred meat. If you eat any charred meat, make sure you have some berries or cherries with it or hibiscus tea or all the above. Stay away from sugar, if at all possible, and stay away from lunch meat. 
I know you've heard many times in the past, well, this is bad for you, this is bad for you, and then you found out it's actually good for you or it doesn't do you harm. These things, it seems, the research is so powerful that these are really, really bad for you. Harnessing caps, very powerful a dipeptide made up of two amino acids. And what they have found is that it helps maximize lifespans of lab animals. And that may be also true for human beings. It's found in most of the long living cells in the human body. That's carnosine capsules. Take that with food. It also stops the process of glycation, which is what brings forth wrinkled skin. If you want to avoid wrinkles or keep wrinkles down, like I said, make sure you take carnosine. Vitamin C also helps with your skin in that area. You can see the video I did on skin also on this channel. Green tea is very, very good for anti-aging properties. It helps suppress certain genetic factors that might promote a disease and re result in a shorter lifespan. So take green tea. It inhibits those factors. It inhibits the expression of negative genes. So this is really important. Black tea is also good for you. Helps relax you. It's got theanine in it, which is very good to help relax you. White tea is very good for your lungs and your skin. You can take that. Red tea, different plant. Black tea, white tea, green tea, same plant. All very, very good for you. Red tea is a different plant, and boy, does it give you energy. Not in kind of the caffeine type of energy, at least when I take it. What it does is when you drink it, you don't feel a surge like of adrenaline, but you start feeling really strong. I mean, I lift weights five, six times a week. I lift a lot of weights, heavy weights. And when you take red tea, you can feel the strength. And it just goes through every cell and all your muscles. And all of a sudden, your day, you're just skipping along because of red tea. I highly recommend that. And so uh, the next one would be lipoic acid, especially if you have a family history of diabetes. Lipoic acid, again, warning here, talk to your trained professional, your doctor, or your certified nutritionist. Next one, this is huge for anti-aging, for increasing the lifespan, Reservatol. Very powerful substance, a little bit pricey, but it's worth the money. Take it with food, it helps promote long life. Reservatol is a polyphenol, which induces favorable gene expression. See, they used to think, well, whatever your genes are, that's who you are. In some sense, that's true, but you can uh, help the expression of your good genes by certain nutritional factors, certain dietary factors, and also by prayer and other means. So keep that in mind. Whey protein. Very powerful, very good for your muscles, also for your bones and your immune system. The branch chain amino acids really help and create certain aspects and features that bring forth possible long life in the extension of your life, similar to calorie restriction. So calorie restriction is also, last but not least, for anti-aging calorie restriction. It's kind of hard to do. What you can do is what I do sometimes is that you don't eat breakfast. I know they said you gotta eat breakfast. New research has overturned that, believe it or not, yes. But calorie restriction, miss breakfast, miss lunch, if you can, your job may not allow you to do that because of the type of work you do, and then eat, but eat moderately the rest of the day. What they've said, or what they found is, people that restrict their eating 12 to 14 hours out of the day where they don't eat, tend to live longer, and certain gene expressions are also favorably expressed. So. This is Pastor Mike Robinson. Until next time, saying, may God bless you. Hey guys, you can really help us if you donate to our worldwide media outreach. Just go to our Patreon page at Mike Robinson Apologetics on Patreon, or click the donate button on our main page on YouTube and give as the Lord leads. Thank you so much.